<laughs> Let me get this plugged in, yeah? Yeah. Okay guys, hopefully everybody's having a wicked day out there. It is a beautiful day here in Leeds. Can you see that? I'm supposed to be working all day today on stuff for Scott's bass lessons and I'm actually gonna go and take the afternoon off and spend it with my kids and just take them outside and remind them that there's like fresh air out there. So I'm gonna keep this lesson short and sweet and I'm going to focus on what I think is probably the number one technique killer for bass players. Get this straight. Kind of, right? But today I want to talk about what I think is like the number one technique killer for bass players. The most common one that I see and one that if you are suffering from, let me just kick that back. One that you, if you are suffering from this technique killer, it's going to be really hard for you to ever play any real fluid lines that involve any kind of speed or jumping around the neck at all, you know. Before we get into exactly what this technique killer is, I'm going to show you four clips, okay? One of Pino Palladino, one of Victor Wooten, one of Robert Trujillo, and one of Bootsy Collins. And we're going to be looking specifically at their left hand, okay? And then I'm going to um, then I'm going to break down what they're doing right and what so many other players do wrong. So check this out. Come here. Okay, first up is Pino Palladino playing with John Mayer. Check out this album, guys, if you haven't already. Anyway, sounds like this. Look at his left hand. Look at his left hand. Specifically look at the wrist, okay? The wrist and this part here. This part, the wrist and this part here. Next up is Jaco Pistorius. Let's have a look. Now, look at the wrist here. What a great shirt. Let's look at Victor Wooten. Here we go. Take away, Victor. Look at the wrist. Look at the wrist. Robert Trujillo, here we go. Give it some Robert. Again, look at the wrist. Best bass face in the business, right? Well, <laughs> with Bootsy, I was just digging on his uh, digging on his groove. What you will see, guys, with all of the players that I just showed you, and all of the guys out there, all of the players that can move fluidly around their instrument. Okay, the one thing that they've all got going on is this wrist here is down for the most part. It's down, okay? Again, let me just show you. Look, now there's two key things here. The wrist is down, okay? And there's a gap, there is air between. Let me just show you. There's air here. You need that hole going on, okay? As soon as you do this, all of your fingers just scrumple together. So there's so many players that I've spoken to and they're just like, I can't, I, I can't open up my hand. And it's like, okay, let's look at how you're playing. And this part here, this hole, they've got none. It's against the actual neck, right? That's a big problem if you're ever gonna be trying to move around the, the fretboard with any kind of fluency. So you've got to drop this wrist down, drop it, drop it, drop it okay, and create this gap here. Now in terms of your thumb, for me, for the most part, it's kind of in between my, my index and my second finger, like that type of thing, it's there. Um, it's, and it's definitely not like super grippy on the neck or anything like that. It's not gripping the neck super tightly, okay? It's important to keep this hand, this wrist and the thumb nice and relaxed, so again, if you are a guy that's playing like this, a guy or girl that's playing like this, like holding it like a baseball bat, you're going to be able to groove. But even there, I really want to drop that down because as soon as I drop it down, look, if I try and open my fingers, uh, I can't do it because I haven't dropped that wrist down. As soon as I drop the wrist down, 
the thumb comes down, that little bit of air, a little bit of space in here, and then suddenly... Okay, it's just... It really opens up the the movement of that left hand and it's going to mean that you can just move around with so much more freedom so much more freedom so guys get this into your plane okay if you are one of these guys that that's holding it like this the baseball the baseball back grip drop that wrist down let the thumb fall with it and then you're going to have way more dexterity in this left hand okay now i've actually got two super important things to tell you and then i'm going to take you up to the end of the garden and show you the kids bouncing on this trampoline because i'm really proud i built this trampoline yesterday it said two hours on the packet it took me six hours because you know my five-year-old helped me put it together and that's what happens when a five-year-old helps you put together a trampoline it takes six hours anyway these two really important things again okay? a few weeks weeks ago we hosted a, an awesome uh, masterclass down in london over an entire weekend saturday and sunday we flew over gary willis we flew over bobby vega we flew over henrik linda from dirty loops obviously uh, we flew over rich brown from canada i was there with the full live band it was an absolute scream now why is this important? It's important because we filmed the entire event. We had a full sound crew there, full video crew, filmed the entire event, and we're giving away all of that content that we filmed over seven hours. So we're giving away all of that content to our academy members. Anybody that's a member of Scott Space Essence, we're giving it away for free, but only until the end of this month, right? So if you join up the membership over at Scott Space Lessons.com before the end of the month, you get all seven hours of that masterclass for free. Pretty cool, right? Now, the second cool thing is we have been asked time and time and time again um, at scottspacelessons.com to offer a monthly membership, like a Netflix style thing, right? So you can just pay month to month, like a gym membership for, for bass players. <sighs> We've never made it available ever um, until right now so we're testing it out for the next few weeks so we don't know whether it's going to stay or whether it's going to go normally um, to become a member of scott space lessons you've got to get an annual enrollment but we are now offering monthly enrollment okay so go to the website check it out scottsbasslessons.com i will put a link below so you can go straight over and uh, and check it out if you've been thinking that you want to join on a monthly deal now is the time now without further ado i'm going to take you take you to see my awesome trampoline that i built okay here we go hey guys six hours lisa do some move story <laughs> See you later guys, take it easy, see you in the shed. <laughs> whoa, 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 where are you going? If you haven't subscribed to the Scott's Bass Lessons channel yet here on YouTube, click the link, subscribe. I release two videos like this every single week. You can also check out our other videos over there. And if you've not checked out scottsbasslessons.com membership, check it out. You can grab your 14 day free trial over there.